This will be a brief demonstration of the Forest Manufacturing Model 230 vertical blade traveling table bandsaws. I have a fairly recent video illustrating, illustrating the basic features of the saw. So this will just cut right to a brief summary and then the demo cut. This is a vertical blade bandsaw, traveling table. It's a high speed machine meant to run blade speeds of like 3,000 feet per minute. This machine is rated for blades up to about three quarter inch wide, one inch in some special cases. Um, manual table traverse. It's a pretty basic machine for us. The material I'm cutting today is this odd looking foam material. It looks like what I know is tear and share bread. You just pull it apart very easily. It has a somewhat sticky consistency. It's very low density, but it has a somewhat sticky consistency. I understand it's actually made from starch, maybe cornstarch or something. Uh, you've probably seen the recyclable packing peanuts that are made from biodegradable materials. Um, I suspect it's that same material. The customer wants to know, pardon me, potential customer wants to know how well I can cut it. Um, I make a point to a lot of my customers if they've not bought a saw from us before, that bandsaw machines don't cut anything. Bandsaw blades are what do all the cutting. So the job is usually to, to job one is to find the correct bandsaw blade to suit the application, then go in and find the right machine to carry that blade and support the workpiece. In this case, the correct blade is a scallop edge knife style blade. It looks just like your bread knife that you, you probably have at home in your kitchen. So it's a knife edge slicing type blade with little peaks like the tops of waves. And I suspect it's absolutely going to blast through this material. Let's find out. Start the saw. I'm not even having to hold the workpiece, it's just sitting there. The force required to cut this is trivial. Let's stack up a little more material. So I've got three pieces higher, so basically these are about inch, inch and a half, so maybe this is four and a half inches of material. Straight cut. I'll show you in a moment. But if you really want to get good production throughput, you don't cut one or even three pieces at a time. Cut a whole stack at a time. So what do I got here? I probably have 15, 18 inches. This is tall, this work piece, this tower of work pieces is now tall enough and springy enough that it might wiggle around if I cut it without holding it. So I'm gonna secure it for the uh, potential end user. We put some kind of a back push off base here. It did slow me down a little bit, but it didn't actually slow me down. So what am I getting for all that? Interesting. So the first few cuts, dead straight. Beautiful, clean cut edge, no dust. For that last cut, and this is probably because I was getting greedy with the speed, got a little bit of a smile going in. So I think the workpiece that I pushed in the blade was deflecting a bit. So I might've been getting a little greedy with the speed there. Let's back down a bit and see what happens. Oh, this is important.
still a little bit of it. So I think my I think my limiting factor here, I can get a perfectly straight cut. The limiting factor is that the material moves as I'm cutting it. The table's tracking straight. So what's happening here, I believe, is as I'm pushing in, this whole stack of work pieces is kind of bowing over a little bit or skewing as it hits the blade. Um, so cutting a giant stack might just be too unstable with this material, but cutting three, four, five pieces probably work fine. We'll test the theory. Beautiful. Racking a bit on me here. So the limitation here, the blade is tracking beautifully, making a clean dust-free cut. Limitation with this material is gonna be just the material itself is unstable. If you try to stack it real tall, it's just gonna squirm as you cut it. Cutting four pieces tall here, fine, no trouble. After that, it might be incrementally, incrementally a little more trouble. Um, if you have any questions or like a test cut on any type of material or just like to discuss bandsaws, please feel free to call or email us here at Forest Manufacturing. Thank you and have a good day.